Hey guys, Kim here. So today I am gonna do a vlog, just kind of a day in the life, show you some of what I do and what I eat. Um, but I wanted to start off with an update on two things. First of all, IVF, what's going on with that? And second of all, my bulking, gaining weight, what I'm tracking, what I'm doing with that. I'm getting a lot of questions. So I'm going to talk about those things very quickly. We're gonna keep it under three, four minutes maybe, we'll see. Um, so first of all, IVF. And I'm not gonna go into this too much because it is kind of a personal thing, but I know I put it out there, so I need to address it. Um, basically, Jim and I have decided that we are not going to do IVF right now. It was a really, really, really hard decision. Um, we went back and forth a lot, but just decided that right now, for us, for our family, it's just not the best thing to do. Um, a lot of factors played into that, you know, finances and just where we are in our lives and doing IVF the first time was one of the hardest things I ever did physically and mentally and I just don't want to be so focused on trying to have another baby that I miss out on Annabelle. You know, there's lots of doctor's appointments and shots and not feeling good and worrying and stressing and I don't want anything to take away from our lives with Annabelle. So for right now, we're just gonna be a family of three and we're okay with that, I'm okay with it. And maybe down the road and you know, six months, two years, five years, whatever the case may be, we have the embryos there and if we wanna try it again, then we will. But right now we're just happy as a little family of three and that's how it's gonna be for now. So hopefully that's not a big disappointment to anyone. Um, hopefully that's not the only reason why you were subscribed and you know that you were wanting to see that. But there's a chance it happens down the road just for now we're, we're setting it aside and just enjoying little Miss Annabelle because she is tons of fun and I couldn't ask for more. So that is that. If you do have any specific questions, you know, leave them down below. If it's not too personal, I will answer it. And if it's more personal, maybe just shoot me an email or something, because I do want to be open and honest about it. I just don't want to put everything out there right now. So that is that. Thing number two is about, you know, gaining weight and what I'm tracking, that sort of thing, because I did need to gain weight in order to do IVF. So now that I'm not doing it, am I still trying to gain weight? Um, to answer that quickly, Yes, I am. I want to gain at least a couple pounds just for my own sake. I think I'll feel better. I think I'll look better. You know, I would love to have a butt at some point. Um, but I'm not so strict with it now. So before it was kind of like on a time crunch. And sometimes I would be eating even when I didn't feel like it. You know, to the point of feeling uncomfortably full. So now I have kind of my maintenance calories, which I kind of keep track of very, very loosely and I do my best to hit that number, but then I go over, because I am trying to gain some weight, so you know, I have some extra things here and there, put some extra peanut butter on the bagel, what have you, very, very loose with it, and that's how I want to be. I want to be intuitive when it comes to eating, and I'm not quite there yet, because if I'm just intuitive, I undereat. but I do want to get there eventually, and I'm getting closer and closer to that. And, you know, I don't, I don't like counting macros. I don't like counting calories. I don't think you should have a set number of macros or calories per day because each day is so, so different. Like, you know, last weekend I was super, super sick. Like I did not leave my bed until 11 o'clock and then I made it to the couch and that was it. Like I didn't work out, I didn't do anything, I had zero appetite, so I wasn't gonna make myself eat a bunch when my body didn't need it or want it, you know? And then fast forward to another day where I got up and I worked out and I went for an hour swim and then we went to the zoo and walked like four miles. And there I'm not gonna limit myself because I was doing a lot more and my body wanted more and I was hungrier, so I ate more. So I'm trying to listen to my body but also making sure I get enough, if that makes sense. Once again, any questions about that, leave them down below. I'm trying to be as open and honest as possible and just know that I'm, I'm not a 100% intuitive eater, but I want to be and I think I will be eventually. So that's that, if that makes any sense. So I am still trying to gain weight, just kind of slowly at my own pace 
and just trying to enjoy it and not stress about it. I don't want to stress about food. Food should not be stressed about. It should be enjoyed and you should enjoy it with your family and your friends and yeah, that's, that's my thoughts on that. So one more thing I need to say before I start the day. Um, one of you subscribers, I think it's just another girl 23. You always leave amazing comments and great questions, but for some reason, I cannot respond to you. And I don't know why, maybe it's something with your settings that you can look into, but just know I am not ignoring you. I want to answer your questions, but I can't. So if you're watching and you can look into that, I'd love to interact with you. But just know that I love all of your guys' comments and questions and I love interacting with you and that's what really makes doing YouTube fun. So leave me a comment, leave me a question, leave me something down there so I can interact with you guys. All right, so I'm gonna have some snacks. That is Annabelle's snack. First of all, these things are amazing for like little kids because they don't spill and then Sadie can't get her snacks and it's super fun. But anywho, I'm having a carrot. Probably gonna have two or three actually, but I didn't feel like peeling anymore right now. Um, fun fact, carrots like this, like big normal carrots, I guess, I like raw, but baby carrots, I like steamed and cooked. So I'm gonna eat this, it's just a raw carrot. I am going to bust open this ginormous container of regular peanut butter. I don't like funky flavors of peanut butter with carrots, just regular peanut butter with some carrots. And another fun fact, if you have not tried keeping grapes in the freezer, they are really good. They get like icy and kind of slushy. Jim hates it. I love it. So maybe it's one of those like love or hate things. Um, and of course we have chocolate and chocolate. You guys know me and my frozen chocolate. And while we're in here, we could do a freezer tour. No, there's nothing that exciting. Um, but I will show you these real quick. So let's close this because that's an annoying sound. Um, got these at Aldi. They're the black bean Chipotle burgers. Jim really likes them. Jim is not a vegetarian, but he still eats them. To me, they're a little bit too spicy. I just had two of them a little bit ago. This is what they look like. I just cook them like in a pan, but they have like a lot of texture and stuff going on in them, so they do taste good. They were just a little spicy for me, but I am very, very sensitive when it comes to spice. So if you don't mind spice, I would highly recommend them, but they're super cheap. There's another flavor they have that I can't think of right now that I like better, but didn't have them. So I tried these. I will not eat them again. I will let Jim have the rest of those. Put those back in the freezer. So I'm gonna go eat some frozen grapes and carrots with peanut butter. Get in all my healthy stuff for the day. Look at that. All right, so I just spent like the past hour cleaning up the biggest baking photography mess I think I've ever made. I made some cookies and cream cupcakes using um, the mix from Lil Buff Bakery, which I've shown before. Her stuff is amazing, but she came out with like a cocoa crave mix. So I used that, added some crushed up Oreos, baked it as cupcakes, and then put on good old frosting out of a jar because everyone knows that's the best. And they were amazing. So I took a bunch of pictures, made a huge mess, and then I gave Jim the two cupcakes that were like kind of sort of mutilated. And I ate one of the pretty ones and I'm saving one for later, but it was so good. Like it tasted like a cupcake from a gourmet bakery. Like not a grocery store bakery, but like a gourmet bakery. Really, really good. One of the best things I've baked in a long time. So like I said, saving the other one for later. But after cleaning up that mess, I deserve a treat, another treat. So I got these in my last video. They're the white Booterscotch M&Ms and I realized I have not tried them yet because I was too busy eating the candy corn M&Ms. I figured what better place to try it than here on the YouTube for my friends. So we're gonna try them. So you know if you wanna buy them or not. My battery's gonna die, so I'm gonna do this really fast. Here we go, here we go. We got one. See what it looks like inside. Yeah, it's white chocolate. Okay. Those are good. Definitely tastes like butterscotch and white chocolate. I think I prefer the candy corn ones, but if you like white chocolate, I would highly recommend. Okay. So we're gonna watch Annabelle use a fork by herself. Oh 
by herself. <laughs> Hands work too. Let's try. You want another bite? Let's do another bite. Uh, yeah. Do it. Maybe still a work in progress. Jim and I are going to the gym. What are you gonna do? Arms. <laughs> I'm going to swim. Um, but before we go to the gym, we had to stop at the liquor store. We didn't have to, we wanted to. Um, but in my last video, I showed the Fruit Loopy uh, vodka, and Kelty commented and said that we should get the birthday cake vodka and mix it with Diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> So we went to get that and the lady said they discontinued all cake flavored vodka, which is tragic, really. I mean, seriously. Is it that? Yeah. And she said that vanilla is basically like the cake vodka. So we got vanilla vodka and then we got Diet Dr. Pepper and I also got Diet Root Beer because I thought that would go good with vanilla and Jim hates root beer. So I'll drink that. But we're gonna go work out and then we'll go home and make some drinks and let you know how they are. So we're home from the gym. Did you have a wonderful workout? Pretty good. Yeah, I had a wonderful swim. The water was like the perfect, perfect temperature. So we have our drinks made up. Are you gonna try the root beer one? No, I hate root beer. <laughs> I'll try the root beer one first. Almost as much so, as I hate bananas. Oh, really? Almost. Root beer is so good. Okay, so this is just root beer and vanilla vodka. Okay. Mm, it's delicious. You sure don't want to try. It's like it's like a vanilla root beer float. Oh, that's amazing. I wish we had vanilla ice cream. That's really good. Would highly recommend 10 out of 10. Sorry, Annabelle is collecting rocks and bringing them to us. All right, so now we have... Oh, oh. <laughs> stuck her finger right in the root beer. <laughs> now we have the vanilla vodka and Dr. Pepper. And yes, we're drinking out of Minion birthday cups. I love Diet Dr. Pepper. It's okay. If I had to put something in it, that would be an okay thing, but I prefer it just without. It's pretty good. It's not bad. It's good. I like the, the root beer better. I'll take a sip. We're going to do it. It makes it less awful. <laughs> okay, so we'll switch back. I want, still the, bad. I want the root beer. Give it Dr. Pepper. So, Kelsey, I wish we could have found the birthday cake. If I do find it, we'll try it, because we're always up for trying fun drinks. But definitely do the vanilla root beer. The vanilla, doc vanilla Dr. Pepper is good, but this is better. Um, so that is gonna be the end of the video. We are going to sit outside and relax and have some fun drinks and call it a night. But one more thing I did wanna mention real quick. I feel like I shouldn't have to keep saying this, but these are not full day of eating videos, so I did not show everything I ate by any means. Hi, Jim. Right. Right. So, that being said, we're gonna go have some drinks, probably eat some food. I'm not gonna show you because I'm done filming for the day, but give the video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Annabelle, do you wanna dance? Dance, 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 dance. Dance, 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 dance.